Basically tracked that deer all day today. I tracked blood. I stalked all the bedding areas trying to either bump them or find them. I grid searched. I called in for dogs and all four of the trackers that I talked to were unavailable. Uh, most of them agreed that it was probably a muscle hood and not lethal. Went back and looked some more. Fortunately, I don't think that deer is dead. Just the crappy part about bow hunting. Not what anyone wants. Sneaking into the spot and right on the access pad there's some pretty big tracks. This is a really cool place. It's like super diverse. It's got really green beans, which is rare for anywhere around here. Standing corn. And then like big river bottom with a bunch of cottonwoods. So hopefully we get crack at something tonight. Can't believe it but it's day nine day nine i left my house i think 11 days ago heading in tonight 
I have hunted this area a few times. I've had three different encounters with this buck I'm after. And most notably, a couple nights ago, he bust me. I didn't anticipate his travel. He ended up popping out 10 yards downwind to where I was at. And now I'm anticipating his anticipation of where I am. And I'm hoping he takes this trail to send check where I was set up at and I can kill him at like 20 yards or so. Well, we're gonna try it. We're going out to the spot where I shot that buck four nights ago. So it's been like three and a half days since I really intruded on that bedding area. I still think it's probably affecting them and I kind of doubt, I don't know, I won't say I doubt that I'll see anything. I'm gonna get up in a tree, see what I see tonight. It's gonna be super variable winds, like direction and speed, which is gonna be kind of a pain. I don't know, Just decide what to do tomorrow based off what we see tonight. If, I mean, best case scenario would be we kill one of these bucks tonight. Second best scenario is we get eyes on something that we can make a move on it, but anyways, that's the plan. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we don't get rained on at night. It shouldn't, but you never know. I have never been this nervous and excited for a hunt before. I feel like the stakes are super high. Like the entire trip, the 13 days I've spent away from my family are all coming down to this hunt right here. All the factors are lining up. All the conditions are perfect. I've observed this buck on four different occasions and I think this is gonna be the end of the chess game. The wind, everything is changing tomorrow. This is really my last chance to capitalize on what he's doing. And I feel like every day that goes by, fields are getting cut, the beans are turning more, and there's more farming going on everywhere. Acorns are raining out of the sky. Like conditions are just changing so fast. And I think if I don't kill him tonight, the chances of me killing him are very slim and I've never had this many encounters with the same buck so to close the story on him would be just 
like what every deer hunter dreams of. So we're gonna head in. I got the tree picked out. Everything's everything's ready. Well, I'm back at camp and uh, got a low of 37 a night. So it's gonna be real cold, but it's all right. I got a, I got a real nice summer sleeping bag and a crappy old quilt, but I'll, I've been sleeping with a beanie on and my hoodie up and I'll, I'll make it through. Probably wake up with a sore throat, but it is what it is. Into the sweet field, and there's cereal grain planted popping up. There's some tracks in here, which means that these deer are starting at the young cereal rye. There's also a bunch of acorns. snort of that as I'm sneaking down this field edge for literally the last 15 minutes and every time I think deer runs off which probably is another one snoring at me so I'm not gonna just get up in a tree and enjoy the sunset I'm gonna bounce to another property and see if I can't get into something or glass from the car or 
literally anything else. Well, I'm one, I'm zero sticks up actually. This was my backup spot. If I pull this off, it'll be a miracle. Hopefully the bucks participate tonight. <laughs> I'm just sneaking up this fence row. Trying to stay out of sight of where I think they're bedding along this other field edge. The wind is blowing like there's a little bit more east than I anticipated and I think if they got a strong enough east it could blow into where they're at but I'm hoping that I'm just flirting with danger enough where they just come straight through this gap and uh, I can stick an arrow in one. But I'm just gonna keep creeping up here. I'm trying to get to the scraggly old tree I've sat a couple times in. It's a big old bed right in this fence row. I guarantee this is one of the big ones. Pretty cool. Hopefully I can get an arrow on him before he gets my ground sign after walking through here now. <laughs> Thank you. 
this other bug comes out. <laughs> I basically just grabbed my arrow and bailed out of there. So the arrow has some blood on it. It was in some tall grass, and I think the grass cleaned some off, but it's definitely not super good. It, it looked like the shot, if I had to guess, was like mid-body. It definitely smells like a touch of guts, but I'm not positive. So I bailed and just wanted to come back and regroup. Gosh, I'm just pissed. Blood doesn't look great, but I didn't actually go track. I didn't go look for blood. I just stopped right at impact and, you know, went in doubt back out. So that's where we're at right now. Hopefully later tonight or tomorrow we can we can find this guy. He's a sweet buck. It's the one that I've been after. Literally my sixth encounter with this buck. Like, that, that never happens. Six encounters with the same buck in a matter of two weeks. Ugh. Good morning. After a restless night of sleep, um, I was able to line up a dog for this afternoon. Um, she's working today, so trying to get out her as early as possible. Um, I am going to go at least look at what the initial track looks like. I'm still not 100% certain where I hit that deer. When it happened in the moment, I wasn't thinking, oh man, that was a bad shot. It wasn't until the deer stopped that I figured that maybe it was a little bit far back. I think the deer might have been slightly quartering away. I mean, I zipped that arrow through him so fast that I literally have no clue. <sighs> Roller coaster of emotions. I mean, it's, I feel like I've been here too many times. I feel like I'm on a pretty bad streak and I'm angry at myself for that. Makes me wanna take a, take a break from bow hunting. But right now I'm just focused on finding this buck, so it's not all for nothing. Well, I did not find blood at impact, and I'm not even sure exactly how he ran after I shot him, because I think he kind of looped around a little bit. Instead of just really boogering up that area, I'm going to walk the edge of this field, try to go to where he walked into the woods and stood for a while and see if I can see some accumulation of blood there. Well, I barely even started. <laughs> It's not even funny, it's not something to laugh about, but basically where I saw him going to the woods, he must have died soon after. And all I see right now is his head and a pick clean. I mean, it's completely pick clean. Wow, they literally annihilated him.
such like a bittersweet thing. Like I'm so bummed out right now. Like I'm stoked that I found them and just not what these animals deserve. I literally can't believe it. Like there's not a piece of meat on this thing. Like, should I have went looking for him last night? Like, I didn't want to risk bumping him and not find him at all. Man, I worked so hard for this. I don't really know what to think or what to say, you guys. I'm bummed out. I'm disappointed in myself. I mean, I'm pumped that I got it done, but just like this is not the way I wanted it to go down. Between the earlier one this week that I shoulder hit, didn't find, I think that deer is fine. And now this, I just have such a respect for these animals and it sucks. It sucks to see them like this. Beautiful buck. I might as well check him out here in a minute. Just. <sighs> Beautiful buck. It's been really cool at night. It's been getting down into the 30s. So with not knowing where I hit him, not a lot of blood at impact, and the arrow looking the way it did, I figured the best, best thing to do was to just sneak out of there, not bump him, because I didn't know how far into the woods he went. It just sucks because other case would have been me to come in here, look last night, and bump him and never find him and have zero meat and not be able to tag an animal and have nothing to show for anything. I'm gonna get him out of here and go get packed up at camp. <laughs> 